1 1 but this is uh, uh, this is not delta t 1 2 3 4 this is 5 from here you will put uh, instead of in, instead of 1 for uh, injection you will put 0 it means that injection is stopped now the clean water coming so you will see the movement of the plumb how it moves into the what uh, into the river until reach to the end okay so uh, by changing how you will define the concentration into the model you can um, uh, i mean how to design initial conditions and boundary condition you can prepare a lot of exercise and so uh, an answer to a lot of questions you need only to think about it how is your uh, uh, initial because the b basic and the governing equation is this uh, so the, all the program will be solved with this um, uh, method only the initial conditions and boundary condition will change and you need to practice it but anyway when you have any question you can send an email to me uh, I will uh, put my email and uh, uh, whatsapp number also here if you have question you can uh, ask me ah. okay for me is not uh, uh, based on this formula you should okay uh, it's better you do in your uh, uh, now in in your programs uh, instead of uh, Newman 0 0.3 put Newman 0 0.5 to see what happened uh, for me because it is not uh, complete it is not uh, based on the Newman it's I, I typed 0 0.3 so uh, uh, it's not changed put 0 0.35 is hanged You don't have a laptop? Uh. Where not the center six? Okay. Point zero point nine five, okay. That's it. Uh, where is your graph? Oh, you cannot. Uh, for the graph, you have to remove the uh, reduction. Hmm. Uh, make a graph here. You see what happened to the graph? It's not smooth because now your uh, the Newman is uh, 0 0.5 and it is not stable, stable, and it doesn't work. And if you give it 0 0.6. You see what happened? Yes. Uh, okay, did uh, put 0 uh, 0.6 and see your graph to see what ha what change how it changed the graph that you have that the the, the uh, change in the time you will see it becomes unstable. Yes, it's good. Uh, one, uh, uh, for example, for this one. 
Make a graph. Insert. A linear graph. Uh, line, uh, yes, this one. Should, no, no, this no, no, this one. X, Y, scatter. A scatter, a scatter. A scatter. No, 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 a scatter. Oh, the line, yeah. You see what happened? Now give it 0 0.6 and you see, c control X this uh, chart because it is very low, down. Yeah. Control X. Now give 0 0.6. You see what happened? The graph is become unstable. You see when uh, when uh, at first make a is your numbers. You didn't say. Oh, it's not. It's okay. You see the to the others. Uh, you saw that when you yes you happened like this. When we change the maybe I can do it here very fast. Uh, listen, you see this uh, graph, it is for changing the T, uh, changing the concentration in different uh, times. In, uh, sorry, for, for one time after f 10 delta T, for example, in different X. We have such a curve, all of you ha had such a curve, yes? Mm, I produced this curve when the Newman number was 0 0.3, yes, and you did all the same like me. Now, if I go and change the, Newman number to 0 0.2, there is no problem, okay, but if I m make it, 0 0.5. You see what kind of care? It, it is not a real physical answer. 
even if I make it 0 0.6, then it's worse. You see, it shows that the numerical solution is not stable when the Newman number is 0 0.6. Okay? Uh, and this is a concept or uh, this is a concept in numerical model. The numerical model must be consistent uh, uh, and stable. To be stable, we usually need some criteria. For this uh, equation, the criteria is Newman number must be less than 0 0.5. But the problem is that usually with the real uh, examples in this method, Newman, New, uh, Newman number is uh, more than 0 0.5. Okay? Uh, to solve this uh, uh, um, issue, listen, uh, please. It is, uh, it is not necessary to do it again, because don't want to do it. Please, listen to me. Uh, it's not necessary to do it, because now you did it one time and you know it. Uh, but uh, this point is very important. Usually in the real examples, we don't have uh, the human number is not um, less than uh, 0 0.5. To, un to understand it better, we make an example. Uh, uh, normal uh, speed in the rivers is maybe 1 meter per second. If we consider uh, the speed, one meter per second for uh, mm, uh, a speed into the river, and you are going to get uh, delta x as 0 0.5, okay? 0 0.5 for delta x, the speed one meter per second, and the dispersion coefficient, let's see, is 0 0.5. Calculate how, how much would be the uh, mm, delta t. Delta t is delta x divided by v. Delta x 0 0.5, v is 1 meter. So, delta t also would be 0 0.5. So, delta t is 0 0.5, delta x 0 0.5, v, one, um, v is 1, and d is 0 0.5. Calculate the um, Newman number. Newman number is d multiplied by delta t divided by delta x uh, power 2. This is the Newman number. D multiply delta T divided by It is one. Newman number is one. Yes? If anyone calculated. This is the Newman number. D multiplied by delta T divided by delta X2. Who calculate the Newman number? Who is cal who has calculated Newman number? Uh, yes, dispersion coefficient 0 0.5, velocity 1, delta t half, and delta x half. Because when delta x is half, uh, delta t equals delta x divided by velocity. Delta x is uh, half, the v is 1, so half divided by 1 equals half. So delta t is half, delta x is half. Now you can calculate the Newman number. How much is the Newman number? One. Any other one calculated? One. Okay. So, the Newman number is 1. When the Newman number is 1, it is more than 0 0.5. So, what is the solution? 
please listen to this part because this part we don't have enough time we didn't uh, we will we will not do it uh, as an example because completely similar the things that we are uh, doing if only you listen to me very carefully and uh, understand it it's completely easy uh, it is not necessary to do it again uh, so now the, the new one number is one more than uh, 0 0.5 because in the previous example we uh, uh, solve the example hypothetically we assume that the new one is 0 0.3 we don't have any v inside it we don't have any dispersion coefficient inside it but in the real when you are going to solve the program you uh, uh, consider a dispersion coefficient for the river based on the situation in the river uh, the v is, there are some formula in the um, literature when you have the um, v of the um, channel when you have the velocity you can calculate how is the dispersion coefficient in the river so dispersion coefficient is one of the uh, uh, noun parameter of the river you cannot change it it is 0 0.5 for example or 0 0.6 or if you don't have any equation you use the data for calibration and calculating the dispersion coefficient anyway the dispersion coefficient is one of the inputs Newman is not an input dispersion coefficient is the input delta x you assume it based on and the, the problem of the, uh, this equation is that you cannot do it easily it, you must increase delta x to decrease the Newman number for this example uh, you know because delta x is in the here and it is power 2 yes if we decrease delta x delta t is uh, uh, sorry if we in, uh, decrease yes if we decrease delta x yes delta t also decreases yes but because it is uh, the uh, power 2 so the effect will be more and the new uh, newman number becomes bigger i mean if you make the delta x smaller it doesn't solve the problem you must make it bigger and when you make it big the delta x then again the problem the uh, numerical method become unstable, unstable and the result are not good because another assumptions would be uh, in problem in solving the problem because when we, you remember in numerical integration when we make the uh, distance of uh, the um, steps long then uh, um, the curve is not uh, answered well and the error numerical at all, uh, error increased do you remember if the, it was our curve and we made delta x to assume it then this curve it would be a line so if you increase the delta x like this then you consider this one and it uh, goes uh, far from the uh, curve and the error increase so uh, yes when you increase the delta x you will solve this problem Newman number becomes less than uh, uh, half but another problem uh, uh, started that you, your line is not well I didn't make a good curve here to show it better for example this is our curve if this is your uh, this is this line if you increase the delta x to here then the, this line going to show how is this curve and you see a lot of error happen if you remember therefore increasing the delta x uh, um, is not a good idea for solving the Newman number we use another method to solve this problem in uh, Apelopostoma, we said that we have th this line was our uh, C0, yes, and this wa was CT1, yes, for the next time. We, we add advection on this and we bring another line. This line because uh, become uh, a starting for and, and then we applied the diffusion on this line to reach to the T1, yes do you remember to solve this problem in the middle of these two parts 
we add two or three times more. We break the delta t. Okay, for, we had uh, for, uh, delta t 0 0.5. Instead of 0 0.5, we can consider five time step of 0 0.1. Yes, we can consider five. Uh, delta t of 0 0.1. Okay. So I will um, uh, write here delta x was 0 0.5. Yes. Then delta t was 0 0.5 divided by y. So 0 0.1. Yes. And the Newman number become Yes, it was the problem. Yes, how we solve it? At first, we have a cell of C0, okay, and then we make an advection. Yes, do you remember? And we shift the cells one down. Yes, this is advection. Before we go to the diffusion. In the previous example, we directly went from advection to the diffusion. Yes, we directly calculated these cells from this uh, this column. Yes, everybody remember because you have it done and you know what is the exact. In this time, insta, instead of directly to go to the other one, we do it in five time and finally we reach to this one. And each step would be 0 0.5, 0 0.1 second. 0 0.1 second, 0 0.1 second, 1, 2, 3, 0 0.1, 4, 0 0.1, 5. Would be 5. But for, and for each of them, the new end number would be 5 times less. Yes, the new man, new man number become. 1 divided by 5, yes, because we had, uh, we have the delta t becomes, uh, because this is delta d multiplied by delta t and this is delta x power 2. When delta t becomes divided by 5, so the Newman number come divided by 5. So, our Newman number instead of 1 is 25, 0 0.25. So, new, uh, new number is 0 0.25 instead of 1. And we thought we need to repeat this pattern 5 times. And each time is one, 0 0.1 time step. So, we need to copy 5 times. Not, not 5 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, yes, 5 times. So, uh, in this way, instead of having one column for... Uh, Diffusion, you will have five column for diffusion. You repeat it. It um, uh, repeat it for um, different times. And in and final one would consider this is now concentration at T1. This line, this one would be result. So that in the previous example, you had only advection between C1 and CT1. Now you have uh, advection and one, two, three four cells uh, more to reach your result. Is it clear? So this is uh, uh, an trick for uh, outcome the problems uh, have here. We uh, split the time intervals to a smaller bar. Everything is clear. If it uh, now uh, I want to go change another uh, uh, the subject to sorption process. Uh, we talk that sorption process is one of the important uh, uh, process can affect the uh, pollutant uh, transport. Yes, and also sorption process important in water treatment plant uh, because one of the 
method uh, for uh, removing the pollutant, I think uh, uh, different uh, uh, also when we go to the chemistry uh, lab and also we had a presentation uh, uh, again from environmental uh, engineering department. Uh, one of the uh, method for treatment of the water is sorption. We add something that, uh, to the water, to the wastewater, which have a power to absorb pollutants, like zoolite, like activate, uh, activated carbon, and a lot of sorbents. Even you can use, uh, sometimes they use the agricultural byproduct for absorbing the material, because everything that has uh, fiber inside it, or uh, they can absorb the uh, pollutants, especially heavy metals, to each other, to themselves. Sometimes they we do some chemical reaction on the raw material, prepare some sorbent for uh, sorbing the materials. Uh, to uh, after that, when we pre uh, when we prepare such a materials, we need to know how much this material can absorb. How how is the process of absorption? How is the change of adsorption with time? Then we will have a model, and in this this model help us to uh, design the water treatment plants. Because when you want to, uh, uh, for example, you make a material for sorption, and you put it in this glass, and uh, you use for uh, cleaning the waters. You add cadmium. You must you. It is necessary to know how much this filter will work. And after how many times I need to re replace it, or wash it, or clean it to use it again? Uh, so you you must know how much is the capacity of these, and um, and you need to know the adsorption rate to know how long the material must st the water the waste water must be in contact with the sorption that the water become clean. For example, if it takes two hour that 70% of the material absorbed, and you only put the whisper here and after two minutes I start to drink it, then all the uh, pollutants are going to your uh, body. So you, should, you, sh you must know how long does it take that, for example, 60% absorb or 70% absorb, and then you give a gui guideline to the user. Say user, put the water inside this and let it stay for two hours, and after that you, you can eat it. Or if you design a column, for you should define the diameter and the things in a way, the discharge in a way that water takes two hours to go through the column and reach to the end. Then you are sure when what comes out, water is clean. And again, you need to know how long does it take that this column to make uh, become fully saturated, and you need to change it. Otherwise, you know, uh, I, some people even for reverse osmosis, some people have reverse osmosis, and they put it and they don't change the filters. If uh, it doesn't work, after a while, this uh, uh, device cannot uh, c clean the water. Uh, and if you read the instruction of the reverse osmosis, you see that, for example, it said the, the first fil filter should be replaced after one month. The second filter should be replaced like this. And there is a guideline for filters. The guideline comes based on this experiment that I'm going to explain for you. Ef equations be produced, and from that can understand how long it take that it becomes saturated. When should change filter, even the diameter and everything is designed but with this formula. And for uh, pollutant transport, it is clear that we need uh, to know how is the model of the sorption. So uh, I want to now describe a little bit of this, and we do some example. Then you learn how to sorb, sorb, uh, model the sorption. But uh, about the modeling in the numerical model you, uh, uh, model, you have no problem, because only this term will be added, and this term uh, also should be uh, solved numerically. In the Excel, you can do it again. You add another column and solve this formula. And then uh, it's, uh, it will be OK. So with this method that I told you, you can also add later sorption. But I think we don't have enough time that do uh, uh, that exercise this uh, here. But I only uh, will say how you uh, reach to the governing equation for this part.
uh, for uh, modeling sorption, uh, there is two view. One, equilibrium study, and the second one is the kinetic study. In the equilibrium, uh, uh, we don't see how how the sorption take place in the time. We don't think about the change in the time. For example, you have a big air, and inside there is soil sediment that you want to see, and you add some pollutant to it. The sorption start, yes, when you add this, the sorption start. But it is not like this that all soap material takes place very fast. It takes time, maybe two hours, three hours, and you can see how this process happened during the time. In the kinetic study, we um, study how this happens. In the time, how material, after one minute, how much? After two minutes, how much? After ten minutes, how much? And we want to know how is the sort of process in, during the time. But in the equilibrium study, we don't look at it, uh, how it happens during the time. We will, we will say, okay, it takes ten hours to, to, uh, to happen. Okay, we will let time, let the time work. After an hour, we come and get a sample to see how much is in the sediment, how much is in the uh, uh, water. This is a uh, equilibrium study. So we have sorption and uh, uh, we have kinetic study and we have the equilibrium study. And both of them are important. The kinetic shows us how many persons will be uh, uh, absorbed in. Uh, for example, if the maximum uh, capacity is that the water can absorb 90%, for example, after 10, 10 hours it absorbs 9%. But for us, it is also important to know how it happens during the time. Uh, did you see by a mobile phone, they usually advertise that, for example, after 15 minutes, you will have 70% of charge. So it's good for you. Uh, if you are in a uh, travel and you need to charge your mobile, you know that uh, if you have enough t 15 minutes, then you will have 70% uh, of charge. And uh, um, this is a good information for you. So uh, uh, when you are doing the treatment also is good. If you know 70% of pollution is going after 15 minutes, and you are in a hurry or you, are, you, are, you want design, uh, and you know that after 70%, you know the solution, and you know if 70% removed, then it's clean. So it is not necessary that you wait 10 hours that happens. In two hours, 70% uh, uh, is take place, and the other 30% take place after uh, the uh, after this two hour. And it is not necessary to wait for, for seven. So knowing how it takes place, this kinetic is important in water treatment. And of course, the equilibrium is also important because it shows how much it can remove in final state. In uh, uh, solute transport modeling, there is another uh, point, you know. Uh, in solute transport modeling, uh, when we use kinetic sorption, when we will use equilibrium sorption, it is very important. To, uh, it depends on the advection and dispersion process, because there are three, now there are three processes that are working. The sorption is much more faster than advection and dispersion, then you can consider it as an equilibrium process. Yes? Uh, if, as an example, if to come from this point to this point for half an hour, uh, sorry, for in a half meter, it takes, for example, in groundwater two days that we have a movement of a half. Uh, uh, meter, but the sorption takes place, for example, in one hour. So it is rational that consider equilibrium because the kinetic of the sorption doesn't affect on the uh, results and uh, the uh, the things that we will see. But for example, if in a river, in a river, the speed is very fast, and from 100 meter, we, for uh, if the velocity is one meter per second, uh, so 100 meter. Will, will, will be done in 100 seconds, less than 2 minutes. Now, if you consider equilibrium, absorption takes place after 2 hours, so it is not rational that you consider it uh, very fast, because it is not very fast. In 2 minutes, nothing absorbed yet, because uh, uh, it's very, uh, the movement is much more faster 
then sorption can, uh, can take place. For example, if you see the kinetic, you will see that in two minutes only 2% is adsorbed. But if you consider as an equilibrium process, you will consider that 70% in these two minutes adsorbed. It is wrong. You will get the wrong result from the uh, uh, numerical model. Therefore, in this situation, the advection and dispersion is much more faster than the sorption process, then you cannot consider it as an equilibrium. You must uh, model with the kinetic model. I mean, you should consider the change during the time. Is it clear? Therefore, we can consider, uh, as a sum up, we can model the sorption in two ways. Kinetic, it means consider the change in the time, and equilibrium, consider, don't consider the change in the time. It, uh, in equilibrium, it means that we assume we add a pollutant into the water, everything becomes equilibrium. If it, it, uh, seventy percent it will be absorbed and thirty percent in the solution. But in kinetic, it is not like this. When you add, it asks you how many times uh, uh, they are interact to each other. Two minutes, okay. In two minutes, this amount is absorbed. Ten minutes. So if your delta t is two seconds, for example, you you are modeling and delta t is two seconds. That in the kinetic approach, calculate in two seconds, two seconds how much be absorbed and, and, uh, and do, do the model like this. But if you uh, do it as a equilibrium, in two seconds it, it uh, assumes that all the material is absorbed to the uh, sediment. And it is wrong because in two seconds we don't reach to the equilibrium. This assumption is only true when we are doing with groundwater modeling and in the groundwater modeling, uh, uh, again, also the material is very uh, uh, fine, like clay, and the hydraulic gradient is very low, so the speed is very low. Then, uh, uh, because the fine material also is clay, of course, are very powerful in adsorption, they are very fast. Therefore, in this uh, situation, you can assume it as a equilibrium model. Okay. Now I'm going to say how we can model equilibrium and kinetic. When we say equilibrium model, in equilibrium model, we don't look at the time, how it happens, yes? So, for example, if we again consider this beaker and we add soil to it and the solute with the concentration of C1 and let it time, whatever they need. And this time, it usually uh, determined with the kinetic uh, experiment. But at first, we do some kinetic experiment, and we'll see how long does it take that frees to the equilibrium. If after five hours it frees to the equilibrium, so we let it work for five hours. So uh, I say here infinitive, but infinitive is not practical. It means that it frees to the equilibrium. So we let it, for example, five hours it's of working, and after five hours of working, we get sample from the water. We have the sorbet uh, concentration now, and it is Q1. So if the solute concentration was C1, now we have Q1. Okay. In the next experiment, we increase the concentration. We do it with C2 concentration, and the sorbet material will be Q2. This is not initial, this is the final uh, uh, solution. We let it time, and after the, for example, 5 hours, we get a sample. We will see that the concentration of the solute is C2, and the concentration of the sorption material is Q2. So we can make a curve C1, C2, C2, Q2. Okay? It means that when this. Uh, mm, and, and in this way, we are increasing. So one time we start with 50 ppm, 100 ppm, 200 ppm, 1000 ppm, uh, uh, go higher and higher. So we will have some points. Yes, we will have some points which produce this curve. It shows that it is not like this that you, uh, uh, whenever you increase the concentration, the sorbent will increase. The, every sediment has a capacity, has a maximum capacity. After, uh, if you, it is not like this that you put 1000 ppm and it increases again, the sorption. 2000 ppm, it's finally reached to a uh, 
uh, constant value and it is called maximum capacity of the sediment and maximum capacity of the sediment is related to pH to EC and also to the uh, characteristics of the sediment also if it is clay so maximum capacity is much more higher if you are using sand the maximum capacity is lower if your clay is full of uh, uh, metal oxides then the sorption is much more if your if your soil has a lot of organic materials then again the sorption capacity is much more higher so mm, this care for different uh, uh, sediments can be changed and also different environmental condition like pH, temperature and whatever things but with, with this experiment we will have some points yes we don't have a curve uh, but when we talk about the model we need a form formula at least yes do you remember about the definition of the modeling it can be a, a formula a very uh, uh, simple equation to a very uh, complicated finite uh, um, partial differential equation here we will uh, com uh, deal with some equations and some differential equation ordinary differential equation. there are different, mo different models that the uh, scientists uh, um, uh, suggest or introduce for building a uh, solution when it is equilibrium like Henry isotherm like Fraunlich isotherm or like uh, Langmuir isotherm and you have the formula. In Henry isotherm, we consider the sorption as a linear, which is wrong, as you see, because when we increase the concentration so much high, then it comes to um, plateau, it will decrease. It is not like that forever it goes higher. But it can be used when, the, when you are moving and the range of concentration, your pollution, is in a range that is far from the maximum capacity of the sediment. For example, if maximum capacity of the sediment is 500 microgram per gram, but the concentration in the river is in a place that uh, the range is maximum 10 microgram. So in this case, you can ask because, because if we see these curves, we are here. We are in when the where we, when we are far from the maximum capacity, we are somewhere here. So you can assume this part uh, line. Then it is not wrong. But if it is very, uh, mm, uh, in, of course, in, when you are uh, designing uh, wastewater treatments, then because the concentration is higher, then you cannot uh, use a, a linear one. Fronlich is again like this. In the Fronlich is also, the, the best uh, one is usually Langmuir isotherm. Only when, as I told you, the, the current concentration that you are working with it is very, uh, much more lower than the maximum capacity then Fraunlich and Henry uh, can work very um, sometimes better than Langmuir also but if you are if you are working in the full range then Langmuir of course will work better and this is the formula of this of the uh, uh, isotherms I omit some parts because you don't. What time is it now? What? Twelve thirty. In the kinetic uh, uh, modeling. Again, we do these experiments, and it is like this. We prepare this beaker, several of this beaker. We prepare, for example, 20 or 10 beaker. Okay? We will have 10 beaker. In all of them, we have the same uh, concentration of the pollution, let's say 100 ppm. So we have this 20 beaker with the concentration of 100 ppm and we add sediment to all of them 
and we, we let them shake. After two minutes, you get one of them. You get one of them and you get a sample from it to analyze how much sorption takes place. After five minutes, you will get the second one. After ten minutes, you get the third one. After one hour, with different time interval, you will con measure the concentration. So you will have the sorption in the time. How sorption take place? Again, you will have some dots here, not a line. But we need a equation for this, and which will be say them kinetic uh, modeling. We have two. Uh, we have several uh, kinetic models, but here I will say uh, say two of uh, important one. Is it's not. Two uh, important one is first order kinetic sorption and second order kinet kinetic sorption. Ka is the uh, sorption rate. Ka is the sorption rate for the first order equation. QE is the equilibrium sorption. This one. When it reached, this is Q. Yes, this is the Q means. Uh, the amount of sorbed material per one gram of the sediment. The amount of sorbed material per one gram of uh, sediment. This is the maximum, this is QE. So for this sediment, we have the QE of uh, 0 0.65, something 0 0.65. So this is the fine, and this Q is the uh, sorbed material in different times after two minutes after three minutes and this is the change of the Q at uh, uh, T if you make an integral from it then you will have this formula and this is first order kinetic sorption or sometimes they tell it Zudu first order kinetic sorption and this is the same of this, we only have power 2. This is second order sorption, kinetic sorption model. And if you make an integral from it, we will have this. Again here, Ka2 is the parameter or kinetic rate of the uh, pseudo second order equation. So, uh, if uh, uh, anybody have question about the definition of kinetic sorption, in the next part, I want to teach how you can calculate the sorption parameters. I mean, K1 and QE uh, for a set of experimental data. You did an experiment, you will have some parameters, uh, some data in different T, and you want to calculate the uh, ka and QAE based on the uh, your data. How you can calculate it? Is there, is there any question? So you know what is kinetic sorption and what is equilibrium sorption? You should know this. What is kinetic sorption? What is equilibrium sorption? These are the things that I now expect that you know it. Uh, what is kinetic uh, sorption? what is equilibrium sorption and what is their models, what kind of models we have. Okay. In all these models, I go to second order one only because the others also similar. When you learn to do for one of them, you can do for the others. How we can calculate K2 and QAE for this model, because this model, in this model, T is the time, it's the variable, and Q is the things that you will calculate it, how much material is absorbed at T. 
but ka e uh, sorry ka tu and q a e is the parameter which means which must be es estimated this is a calibration factor do you remember we develop a mock equation for modeling we develop a mathematical model and this mathematical model must be calibrated calibrated with uh, with the data and then you can use it for uh, sorption uh, for your modeling for other things that you want to do in uh, here in this uh, mathematical model the small mathematical model k2 and qae is the parameters which must be calculated from your data in the that you collected how we can uh, estimate this this is our question there is two method if you go to the literature review and see the uh, published uh, papers they usually use two method and mostly linear one in linear uh, method, you change this uh, uh, form formula in a way that it becomes like a line. You see, he rearranges it like this. He divided by Q equals 1 divided by K2 multiplied by QE power 2 plus T divided by QE. Now, it is uh, similar to a, to a line. It means that if you... Uh, draw them uh, based, t, uh, uh, based on t, um, I, I mean if you calculate t divided by q so from your uh, measure data, if you calculate because your measure data is, would be t and some q, you measure them. If you divide the t by q, you will have t by q, t to q, yes, and in different t, and if you plot T to Q uh, in front of the T, you will have a line that the intercept is 1 divided by K2 QE uh, uh, power 2 and the, inter, uh, the slope is 1 divided by QE. So you can estimate QE and K2 from this line. Okay, so uh, this is the method of linear. Another method, at first I think it's better I do it uh, uh, for you as an example, then I go to the second method. Okay, I would bring some data here. This is a, 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 some data from the experimental work. And we have, we did an uh, experimental experiment for sorption kinetic. If I mm, draw them, This is our experimental data. Okay? But we need a equation for that. Uh, 
in the kinetic uh, modeling, uh, sorry, in linear method, I told you that we make the, uh, the line like a, uh, I should bring the formula here, then you can understand it. This is the same equation, there is no difference. We only rearrange it in a way that it makes a line for us. Okay, so I can calculate this one from my measured data. I, uh, my my um, aim is to calculate the uh, parameters. I want to estimate the parameters. At first I should calculate T divided by Q. Yes? Did you learn? Okay. Now, if I, uh, I bring this down. Now, I will make a chart. between the T and T by Q. Yes, it is true. Example is perfect because uh, it was it shows really. You see, the, it show uh, this example uh, by, uh, was very good because uh, exactly shows what I wanted to say. Our as uh, you, you see that we make the form in a way that if I uh, make a data t by q on the um, vertical and t on the horizontal, I must have a line which the slope show me 1 1 to QE and the intercept give me 1 divided by ka multiply QE power 2 but you see that it is not like a line the data is not like a line the reason is that uh, the 